But my burden is that the Lord has put in my heart is the young people of today. Many of our young people are confused. Many of them have come up to me. They're telling me their problems. They're calling me up, telling me all the struggles. That they're confused and they, 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 they want to get out these gangs and, 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 and they're doing things that they never in their lives would have expected, you know, that they would do. June 7th, 1979. I was on my way to go and kill 17 people and take my life and shoot it out with the whole Philadelphia police force. And as I was leaving that crusade, that young girl that was preaching stopped the whole entire message. And she said, tonight, the Lord revealed to me that there is a young man in this place that he is calling by name. And your name is Jose. When she said that, I stopped. I said, how does you know that? She wasn't in that room with me. All of a sudden, I stopped. She said, young man, you said that God called you this way. No rain, no snow, no fire was going to stop you. I said, how did she know that? Nobody was in that room with me. And, and I tell him this story because my brother was 19 years old. He had everything to live for. Matter of fact, two days ago, April 30th, was uh, 32 years ago, my brother was murdered in front of me. Wow. Okay, so there's folks watching this and hearing all these stories. And there are some folks even out there, they, they see, they flip past, they got the remote in their hand, they flip past religious programming, quote unquote. Right. And they, they got a mother who's religious or a grandmother who's religious or whatever. They're gonna come out here and, and, and what? Here, here, another religious program? Is that is that what this is all about? Is this another nah, religious nah, program? No, nah. no, I'm gonna be challenging the young people in these crusades to let them know that you know that they don't have to live that lifestyle. They don't have to be involved in gangs and explain to them why. Because all it is is is, is the speed of deceitfulness. It's just lying to our young people, making them think that that this life is a good life, getting high is all that. Listen, I've been saved now 28 years, never have done drugs again, never have problem with the law. Now the law come to me, the, the police, they ask me where to go in, in, in my city or the cities that I go to help them do street meetings and, and stuff like that. Many of our, the, the, what these young people, these parents need to know that if they really want help for their kids, hey, God is the only solution right now. That would say, Brother Joey, pray for me. Can you pray for me right now? Hallelujah. Before we dismiss, pray for all these young people, all those that came forward. I want to give you that opportunity. You're struggling. You're struggling right now. You're struggling. You know you want to. You're full of anger. Come up, come up. God will set you free. Behold the man upon the cross, my sin upon his shoulders. Ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. God will set you free. Oh, I could sing an ending song of how you set my soul. Well, I could dance a thousand miles because of your great love. Well, I could sing unending songs of how you saved my soul. Well, I could dance a thousand miles because of your